Hi, and welcome to Jerry Bickle Race Cars. My name's Steve, and though in previous videos we talked about the popularity that the race car push bar has become, uh, we have done some updates to ours, and even a second mounting provision for a dual parachute pack mount on your car that I like to uh, kind of re-go over with you. Um, the Jerry Bickle push bar. Um, the push bars that's laid out here on the table comes with the cart mount which pivots in all directions. Push pull pin for easy removal or this bar will actually fold up to say the golf cart and store out of the way. Push-pull pin here is removed because the bar telescopes in and out, giving you a safe distance between the push cart and the race car. When you go to store it, you push it back in, push the pin back in place. It's down to the shortest length. This display here shows a Jerry Bickle built single parachute pack mount. And this was our first design, and still while very popular, uh, what we used in the way and method of attaching the push bar to the back of the race car. We saw a lot of other things out there uh, that looked to be quite honest, dangerous, or were going to do damage to the race car itself due to the bracket that the rod in went between and connected to the back of the race car. Uh, allowing it to pivot and actually fold and turn in towards the body of the race car. Um, so our original single parachute cord po point on our car looks like this. That's what's simulated on the display. And our main frame of our parachute pack mount has what we used as a cup washer that came down onto each side of the cord pull point, the cup washer hid the head of the bolt and the nut on the opposite side of the bolt. So again, these are just pieces here versus after it's assembled. So our first design, this aluminum billet piece, which was machined out to the contour of the tab, slipped up in place and set it against the tab, thus you can see, allowing it not to move. The cup then went back against, the through bolt went through it, and in doing so, this became your outside piece. Again, what's simulated over on the display. And this was where you'd pull the pin the rod in would go between the double shear point and the pin go back in place. Great movement out of the way allowed the rod in to pivot well up and down in a vertical position but limited somewhat in a horizontal position for movement. When we came out with our dual we then took some of that same technology and brought it forward into the single cord pull point thus allowing this new design that we have here which we feel is even stronger yet again when you'd have our cord pull point on the back of the car you'd simply remove the cord bolt each cup washer would slightly pull away from the tabs this one being all machined on the inside slides into place as you can see by the raw metal versus the anodized finish literally no movement. It's going to lock in place. What it also did was drop us a little lower than the early design and move the rod in from a vertical to a horizontal position. So now the rod end on the push bar would slip into the bracket that way. Push pull pin comes out. Rod in would go in here, push pull pin back in place. 
This allowed a greater angle horizontally for the vehicle as well as vertical up and down movement. Any car we build out of our shop today, not knowing what the later history of the car will become as far as its power level, we generally put a dual cord pull point on every car. This simulates a raw finish of our dual cord pull point that would be through the back bumper panel of the car. Again, you would have the cup washer on each side of the pack mount. A bolt would come through from each side and thread into the female bung. Your nylon cord roller would be between inside and outside tabs for the parachute cord pull point to hook to. So by simply removing the bolt and the cups from each side, this is our new dual parachute cord pull point push bar mount. As you can see, all machined again to fit the tab. So simple slide in place, put the bolts back in place, and you've got a mount that's truly solid, won't rotate, try to shift, push pull pin out the bottom, rod in, back up in place and you're locked in place. Mounts just below the parachute cord pull point, generally in the rear bumper panel area where your wheelie bar cutout would be. Allows great movement, vertical, I'm sorry I just did that wrong, vertical and horizontal. We feel like we have one of the best designs out there in the market, but we try to you know, specify to people all the time that this particular design, while used by many, and the early model design, not knowing how they fit it onto their car, is all based off of you having either our single or dual cord pull point. I've actually had racers see this and like it so much that they've gone as far as cutting their particular bracketry off the rear of the car and switching it over to our method just so they can use our push bar mount because they feel it's just, if not the nicest, the nicest one out in the industry. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and give us a call or look us up on the web. We're always here to help.